Hello, I'm Jimmy from Mouse Hat Games, and this week I've been giving displays a much needed overhaul. Displays change color depending on the state of their inputs. Previously, each display stored every single color it could be for each possible state of its inputs. Now, instead, there is a global list of display configurations, and each display simply references one of those configurations. The only thing missing from this system is this menu for editing the global set of configurations. It doesn't work yet, none of these buttons do anything, but I have some nifty plans for this menu, so stay tuned for a video about that next week. The main problem with the old system was that it was slow as heck. These 8-peg displays have 256 possible states, so each had to store 256 colors. When you created a couple hundred of them at once, as you might when building a screen, an enormous amount of data was created and it slowed the game to a crawl. This new system is a lot faster, since now displays only have to store a number that references a global configuration rather than an entire configuration. But hopefully it's also easier to use. Updating a configuration in one place should be easier than updating it for every single display individually. 